have you been looking for pole vault drills to do while you're at home during this break and it's driving you crazy and you really need something to do? Well, you're at the right place because I'm Warren and I'm doing 100 days of videos and welcome to my video about what drills you can do at home if you have nothing else to do. <sighs> All right, so in order to accurately help you, I need assistance. Assistance from my good buddy, my good pal, Sean Francis. No, I'm not gonna actually call Sean Francis and ask him to help with this video. We're just gonna go get his book real quick. Now, if you haven't heard of Sean's book, it's called The Pole Vault Toolbox. It's really great. I've been meaning to make a video about it for a while, um, but I'm just not ready to do that yet. Like, I haven't thought it through. I don't know exactly what I wanna say. It's a great book, though. And today we're gonna to be using a few of the drills from here and then a few that were in my head um, to show you some stuff. So here we go. <laughs> that was just some cinematic me flipping through the book. But I'm actually, I found some drills in here that I like that we can implement and change for the house setting. And I'm gonna do that real quick and we'll see how that goes. But first I need to change into some athletic attire. I mean, I'm wearing pants and a weird shirt for a second. Let's let's fix this. All right, we're in some athletic gear. You know, I just gotta rep UT as much as I can anytime I can. Even if we're not training for UT, I don't care. I'm repping UT today. Okay, let's start some drills. So every drill we're doing here today, I wanted to make sure that anyone could do them. Like you wouldn't have to have a pole wall pole or any other specialized equipment because right now even I don't have specialized equipment. Like I don't have any poles here. I don't have any bands. I got nothing. I'm literally body weight only at the moment. I do have a weighted vest and that's the only piece of equipment that I have. So, first drill. If you've ever been to any pole vault coach ever and asked them what the most important thing of the vault is, they're probably gonna tell you your run up. So, this first drill has to do with the run up. And you may be asking, Warren, how are we gonna do the run up? We're indoors. And I'm gonna tell you, well, you don't have to run to work on your run up. So we're just going to be doing a walking pole plan drill. I have my little broom here, and I mean, this is a small broom. Like, you you can have real brooms, and you could probably do this even better. But I'm a college student, so this is my broom. Anyway, <laughs> so with this drill, you're going to be simulating the last few steps of your plant process. And that, how you're going to do that, is by Elisita. So, for our pole plant drill, you're going to be starting with your pole, just in a relaxed position, how you would be normally on a runway. You can either have your hand open or closed, just so whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna do mine open just for today. And you're gonna be doing a four step pole plant rhythm. So I'm gonna back up a little bit here so you actually see the whole thing. You're gonna be starting with your right foot. If you're, if you're right handed, you're gonna be starting with your right foot. If you're left handed, start with your left foot. And so we're gonna go right, left. And as our left foot comes up, bring our hands up. Right hand, right foot, and then finish with plant after the left foot. And a little quicker motion looks like this. So you're going right, left, right, left. You can really do that as many times as you want. I'm really not gonna give you any reps on this because I, I, I'm not qualified. I'm really not qualified. I just know the drills, I know how to do them, and that's about it. But you can do that as many times as you want. You could even do that into a wall. Like you could just have your hands up and plant into the wall. I would be careful though. Some walls are a little soft. You may put a hole in one. I would not, I would check first before you put your hand in the wall. <laughs> so. The next best thing when you're working pole vault, uh, after your run up, you have your plant, and that's another very important part of the vault. So here we go, we've got another drill for you. You can do it inside your house for the plant. Can you believe it? So for our little plant drill, you're gonna want something like this. I mean, you could do it with a door as well, but you just want something up high, high enough your hands can grab onto it and be sturdy, so you push against it pretty hard. So for this little door thing, I actually have two drills in mind. One's more of a stretch, and the other one's more of a mental thing. So the first drill, the stretch of this two, of this little exercise, is you're just gonna put your, put your hands above the door, or whatever you're putting them on. You're gonna put your hands above the door, and you're just gonna step into it and just let it stretch your shoulders out. This is just gonna help you with flexibility when you finally get back to the runway. And now for our second drill, you're kind of in the same position, but we're going to be working on that big plant and drive through. When you're hollowing out, which lets you swing a little stronger, and you're driving your shoulders through. So what you're going to do is you're going to touch the wall, make sure it's there, and you're going to take a step back away from the wall, and you're going to want to step into it. 
grab on and really press into it. Make sure you get a big stretch and then you're going to drive your shoulders, which is going to send you backwards. So for our next drill, we're actually going to be here on the ground and we're going to be using this couch, my heavy object for the drill. So as we know, we've done the run and the plant. Now what's next? Well, after the plant, you really have to drive through and get that good swing. So that's what we're going to be working on with this drill. So this drill is called a grounded swing. And what you're going to want to do is you want to take your hands and put them under a heavy object. I'm using my couch here. And then you're going to bring up your drive knee like this, or you're going to put it on the ground here. And you want your takeoff leg to be straight in front of you. So what you're going to do is you're going to really put pressure in your shoulders, tighten your abs, and you're going to do a swing up on the ground. So here we go, this is the example. You're just going to drive it through and up. You're just going to sit on your shoulders and come down slowly and back up. And you can just do this as many times as you want, but this really just helps work on that big swinging motion and driving through your shoulders. If you don't drive through your shoulders, it'll be a lot harder to get all the way back <laughs> and you won't end up in quite the same position. So you really want to make sure you're grabbing onto your couch really hard and pushing. You want to push through those shoulders and drive up. All right, let's move to the next drill. So the next drill is going to be a little hard for me to demo because I'm used to doing it on a pole vault pit, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. I've made myself a little pit and we're going to make it work. So this next drill is also on the ground. You're going to want a soft surface unless you just have some really strong wrists, which I do not have. Make yourself a soft surface like I've done here. I put my yoga mat and then a blanket. Now, this drill is called a push-off drill. Sean calls this drill the back somersault, but I like push-off drill more, so uh, I'm gonna stick with push-off drill. Um, normally, people use it on a mat to uh, make bars and stuff, but right here, we're just gonna be working on the actual push-off motion. If you can get where you can push off this far enough that you can make a bar, all good to you. I cannot. But I will be trying to show you real quick what it is. I changed up my angle because I uh, had a change of heart. So anyway, on this drill, you're going to want to start kind of sitting because we're doing this with a whole lot less force than you would on a pole vault pit because otherwise we're going to hurt ourselves. So you're going to start in a sitting position and you're going to roll back onto your shoulders and plant your hands beside your ears. Now, if you have some flexibility, you can try to plant your palms, but I don't. So I'm planting my feet into the ground. Is you're gonna roll back, drive your hands, and then push off. The goal here is to get that nice piped position pushing off of your shoulders. Now, am I in a nice piped position? No. But we're getting the shoulder work in, getting up that strength built up for when you actually can do it on a pole. <laughs> the important part of this drill is making sure you're really getting hollow as you're pushing off because it's simulating the hollowness you wanna feel when you're going over the bar. You want to make sure you get really hollow and then drive all the way through. Because nobody wants to catch a bar with their hands. So make sure you're really pushing. After you get all the way pushed off, keep hollow and drive all the way through. I can already feel the glares from all the pole vault coaches in the comment section be like, dude, you skipped another important part of the vault. I know there's like six parts of the vault. They're all super important. But this is also an important part for a lot of people that, that have issues with. So we're gonna do one more drill. This is the final drill, I promise. And so, necessary tools for this last drill, you need your stick again. Now what this last drill is gonna be working is your turn and rotation off of the top of the pole. So let's assume the position you're gonna be laying on your back, pole in your hand. Uh, if you're right-handed, right hand on top, left hand on bottom, you know how it is. Just get in a position where you would be upside down. So now that you're laying here, all nice and cozy in the middle of your parents' living room, what we're going to be doing is you're going to be turning over, so you're going to be pushing down with your right foot to start yourself rolling to the side, and you're going to be pulling up your body and then extending. I'm going to switch which end of the stick I'm using because that one got in the way that time. Oh, it's got dust on it. I should have cleaned this. Anyway, so you're going to start your turn over. And then you're going to pull up your body, keeping as close as possible, and push off. Easy peasy, right? Let's get another angle here. So you're laying on the ground, your right knee is up, or left knee, depending on which way you're going. You're going to start the roll over, and pull up your body as you roll, and push off. Now, I'm really bad at this drill, because I don't do this right when I actually jump. So I really need to do this a lot. If you have a problem with flagging out, do this drill. 
until you can't see straight anymore. <laughs> So yeah, those were my at-home pole vault drills that anyone can do with any supplies. Like, we have literally used basically nothing. The only thing you need is a broom and a door. I think you all have a broom and a door somewhere, or at least a stick. Go outside, grab a tree branch. There's your stick and your door. Brilliant. Anyway, I really hope this helps you out. If you feel uh, that uh, I've changed your life and given you some pole vault drills you can do at home and you're really happy with it, then you, uh, you should subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment saying that I've helped you out. And if you want more drills or uh, more videos, please leave a comment. Also, I've just asked for comments twice. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Goodbye. I almost forgot. Stay home. Stay safe. Don't get your grandma sick.